Hey guys and welcome back to a new video on this channel. So today I will show you how to install and set up the ultimate news aggregator plugin that I just finished developing. So let me jump straight into this and show you how to install the plugin. So the plugin will be able to create you sites similar to Panda. So Panda is a app, also a website which creates these kinds of news reader news aggregator interface and you will be able to create this also or a similar interface with the ultimate news aggregator plugin so to install the plugin click plugins add new upload plugin choose file go to the zip file you got from code canyon please note that if you have the zip file which includes also the documentation of the plugin the package file you need to extract it and get the installable zip file from that package so after you got it install it by clicking the installation and activate it afterwards you will be able to add new sources with this button you can add new source the title will be displayed on the front end also the rss feed from where the items will be imported and displayed active by default this means that new users will see this rss feed enabled for them by default now maximum number of items to display will be 10 by default so this will be the maximum number of items that will appear for each feed and article reader settings how to detect content and lazy loading tag for images also you can add categories to these sources however if you don't have some feeds in mind right now you can also import the demo data to do this you can go to logs and go to choose file but before this let's extract the zip file somewhere locally to your site the zip which comes with the plugin and search for demo sources dot back file so after you got this go to the location where the demo sources dot back file is located select it using this button and click restore new sources from file click ok and now you will have the demo sources added to the plugin so there will be busumo best news studio digital music news procore and they will also be added in different categories like entertainment sports this is also entertainment this is also sports business and also general if i find a general source general okay so this will be the default <coughs> sources which will be available in the plugin you can also add your sources by clicking add new source giving it a title my custom news site add your feed url here add a category for example general or you can write any category name here also you can select how the plugin should parse the articles for this select visual selector this is the easiest way if you have a valid source here feed source then items will pop up here and all you need to do is highlight the full content that you wish the plugin to extract and click it then click publish now we can go ahead and tell the plugin that we need to display these items on our page so for this i have two variants to allow you to add the plugin to the pages that you have if you are using <coughs> classic editor or if you are using gutenberg so first of all let me show you how to use it in classic editor i have this classic editor plugin installed so for this go to plugin uh, pages add new page give the page 
a title in my case i give it latest news and to get the short code which you will be able to use to list the news generated by the plugin go to settings and down here on the bottom you will see this short code this will be the short code which can be used in the classic editor of wordpress so please paste the short code here also the plugin will generate a page attribute template which will be full width page template a full width ultimate news aggregator so let's publish this without selecting the full width page template to see how it looks so you will see that it will be very narrow however if we go with the full width page template here and update it the plugin will display the resulting feed management in full width so now you can go ahead and add the sources you wish <coughs> and people will also be able to add and list sources from here so as you can see sources were added now and they work automatically as usual so here they are new sources are listed okay so people will be able to read the original or the reader so sites which don't allow the original content to be displayed in iframes they will display this little message however other sites which don't have this restriction and they allow their content to be added in iframes in other sites they will work so you will see that for example procore will allow also the embedding of their content in iframes so original will also work here also people will be able to share stuff using email twitter pinterest facebook linkedin also they will be able to rearrange feeds manage feeds will also list the categories and the sources you can add here any number of sources you wish also there will be this button which will go uh, to the original source in a new tab and uh, people will be able to read the article in the reader or go to the for source if the page allows to uh, do this also there will be a favorite functionality so people will be able to favorite their news and manage their favorites here in the bookmark section so if they click the news here the full article will be loaded up and they can remove their bookmarks and the stars will also disappear from here so once again let's bookmark some articles they can once again click them to remove the bookmarks okay so this is the basic functionality of the plugin let me show you its menu and its advanced settings because they uh, the plugin will also allow you to add ads between the news and also ads before and after the content of the reader so for this after we uh, added our sources we can go to ad manager where we will be able to create our ads custom ads which will be displayed between the news listings here so as you can see the congrats parts and the yep parts are our custom ads which were added before so let me delete this because they are not so intuitive so to say this and uh, let me get a custom url so code revolution we can add code revolution website as an ad and the text should be check the latest wordpress plugins settings we can set a start date for the ad and an end date for the ad but this is optional so let's save we created this ad 
and uh, let's create another ad cool YouTube videos for you and let's create another ad uh, for example for Newsomatic API this time <coughs> Newsomatic API is cool okay so we created free ads we can manage the ads in the settings and change the ad options so ad density you can change how often should the ads appear so every three news articles and an ad will appear you can change this number as you wish you can also randomize ad order each time the plugin loads up it will randomize the ad order otherwise it will load up exactly as you added in the ad manager in this order also you can add a html code that will be displayed before and after the reader content so let me show you first the ads that are appearing here so cool youtube videos for you which will be here with the s marking as sponsored content and another free uh, feed items and another sponsored content that we added another free items and another sponsored content so these will be also randomized <clears throat> and if we click one we will be going to youtube or to our website that we linked okay so now let me show you also this feature of showing html content before and after so for this we will need an image so let's copy an image from here <clears throat> so for example this image should do it so this can be added before and after the content that we wish to show so let's add also a link you can add the link using html code like this so this is the link and for example let's paste this so this will be the ad link uh, you can search on internet for the link html code and insert it in your ad be before the content so this will be linked before the content and this will be linked after the content so let's change the link from here to another link like this now let's save settings and if we go to the reader here we will get this html code added before the content and if people click it the link will be opening with our ad code so this is the our ad this can be placed inside our reader and this can go to affiliate links or products or anything you wish and this will appear before and after each uh, news in the reader here <clears throat> and when interested people will click them they will open up the custom links that you set here okay so now we will be able to go to the other plugin settings which are available simple pi library options which uh, manage how simple pi will manage the rss feeds that you enter because simple pi is an rss library which is used by the plugin you can force detection of feeds in the links you specify you can uh, disable the sanitization of html text these are optional uh, settings you can enable caching and you can set the timeout of reading of feeds you can set caching time for rss items and news items 
enable detailed logging and proxy usage if some feeds or some sites block scraping from your site and block displaying from your site you can use proxy settings to make them work okay so we have here the sources the categories which will list the categories that the, are assigned to the sources you created we have here the settings the ad manager part where you can create ads that will appear between the feed items that are displayed and the logs where server settings backup current news to sources this will download you a backup file of the current news sources which are added to your site and configured you can restore the new sources using this button and you can delete logs here so yeah the plugin is really simple to use and to set up and people will enjoy the reader by the simplicity it provides so they will simply go ahead and uh, come and read their content here or in the full article in the original one more thing to mention here is that the plugin will also follow the logged in users and they it will remember their settings so for this let's go to the page we created <clears throat> so we can view this in incognito window where we are not logged in and we will see that the users will see the default list of sources which are enabled by default so the enabled by default sources are the ones which have the <coughs> checkbox checked of active by default so these sources which are have that checkbox checked will appear to users which are not logged into your site and they will also be able to use the reader functionality and uh, to manage feeds however when they try to remove or add feeds they will see this message popping up that they need to be signed up and signed into your site to use this functionality also if they try to reorder feeds they will get this message popping up and uh, other than this the site will function as normal and they will be able to use all functionality excepting also the bookmarking functionality so bookmarking functionality feed management and feed reordering is not working for users which are not logged in and they are encouraged to log in and to sign up to your site <clears throat> okay so this is the full version of the plugin let me know what you think of it and if you have more ideas for it i am open let me know in the the comments of the video so thanks for watching and if you enjoyed these plugins that i create subscribe to this channel there will be coming even more in the future have a nice day bye bye